friends, happy Monday and welcome to our next project. So this week's actually a big week for us. We have a couple of things going on. So one, we have our project for the week called Future Babies. And then the second thing that you're doing this week is you're actually presenting your pedigree projects. So keep an eye out on Google Classroom. I will be posting the announcement to add your pedigree projects to Flipgrid. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our project for this week. So, like I said, the title of our project is called Future Babies. If you're thinking, uh, Miss Tina, are we going to be making our own future babies? <laughs> you're absolutely right. So, you all are actually going to be creating, um, well, not creating, you're going to be figuring out what your future babies would look like if you mixed your DNA with another individual's DNA. This will be an imaginary person for our project. So, First of all, you are going to be using your worksheet from a couple of weeks ago, your My Traits Inventory. So remember My Traits Inventory. So all of the information on there, that's where you're going to find your genotype. So it was super important that you completed that. That was Lesson 9. All right, Lesson 9 is where you can find all of the information that you will need for yourself. And then the genotype for the person that you will be making a baby with is uh, this imaginary person's genotype is on your worksheet for this week. So for part one, uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. For part one, it says to draw a Punnett square. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a Punnett square. Now it says um, you can do this on a piece of paper. I'm doing this on my whiteboard, but you can do this on a piece of paper. It says to label it with the trait that you are doing first. Our first trait that we're going to be looking at is gender. So the first thing we want to find out is the gender of our baby. Is it going to be a boy or a girl? Now, step two, it says to notice the Punnett square um, on the worksheet. There's numbers inside of the Punnett square. You're going to put the exact same numbers in your Punnett square. So here I have a one, a two, a three and a four. These aren't important right now, but they will be important later. Now, step three, it says to write your genotype at the top of this Punnett square. So I would look at my traits inventory and I would say, hmm, what is my genotype? What are my letters uh, for my gender? And I'm going to look at my computer here and it says XX. I'm a girl. So my genotype for being a girl is X. X. So I'm going to put that at the top of my Punnett square. Now, I am a girl, so I'm going to be having a, a future imaginary baby with an imaginary boy. And so I'm going to put his genotype over here. And so I would look at my worksheet and I see where it says gender and it says X, Y. So I'm going to put his genotype right here. X, Y. All right. So now what I'm going to do, it says to complete the Punnett square. So I put my genotype up here. I put his genotype right here. And now I'm going to complete the Punnett square. So I'm going to drop the X, drop the X, drop it, drop it. And then I am going to carry across his genotype. Carry across, carry across. And friends, now I have completed the uh, Punnett square. Now you are going to repeat this for all of the traits. So you're going to do a Punnett square for face shape, hair type, dimples, freckles, all of those, okay, on a piece of paper. Don't forget to label them. Now once you've done that, you can move on to part two. So for part two, this is where the numbers are important. So it says, first thing is to grab a piece of paper. So I have a piece of paper here. Now it says to cut that piece of paper into four equal pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the good old fashioned um, licking the paper method because why not? There's that and again, now obviously if you have scissors, use the scissors, but I don't have scissors right now. So, all right, great. So I have my four pieces of paper. Now it says on the first paper to write the number one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. There's my one. On the second paper, write the number two. And then the number three. And I think you all can guess what's coming next. <laughs> the number four. Great. 
So now that I've done that, it says to fold the pieces of paper into small squares. So I'm going to go ahead and fold them up into small squares. And then it says to put those pieces of paper into a cup. I just have a, plate, a basic cup for my kitchen. So I'm going to put these papers in here as I fold them up. And now what you're going to do is you are going to randomly pick a piece of paper. So for this next step, it says um, you're going to look at the first trait. So we have gender here. You're going to pull one piece of paper out to determine your baby's gender. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a piece of paper. And I pulled the number two. So that means box number two is going to be my baby's genotype. So that means my baby is going to have the genotype XX. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is it says whatever number you pick, that's the box of your baby's genotype. You're going to type out this genotype on your worksheet for the week. All right. So if we look here, this is your worksheet for the week. So I'm going to go right here to where it says the genotype. And I'm going to type in XX, just like that. All right, I'm going to type in my baby's genotype. And friends, you're going to do that for every single trait. You are going to pick a number, and then you're going to write your baby's genotype in that worksheet. Now, you're only doing the part two of the worksheet for this step, okay? All right, once you do this for all of the traits, you are going to go to the last part of this project. And the last part of this project is part three. All right, so this is where I need my computer again. So for this last part of the project here, all right, so I have my genotype. So I'm going to figure out what their phenotypes are. So I have my baby's genotype here, which is XX. Now I need to figure out what my baby's phenotype is. So I look here and it says a male is XY. I don't have XY. A female is XX. I do have XX. So here I'm going to type female. My baby is going to be a female. I would go down to the next one. Let's say for face shape, I pulled big F, uh, little f. Then I would go over here for part three and I would say, is it a circle? No, circle is big F, big F. Is it a heart shape? Heart shape is big F, little f. Yep, it's heart. So here I'm going to write heart, just like that. And friends, you're going to do that for all of the traits. You're going to go through and you're going to figure out the phenotype now that you have figured out the genotype. And friends, that's the project. So from there, uh, no, sorry, for this project, you are going to complete a Punnett square, figure out your baby's genotype, and then figure out their phenotype. That is the project for the week. I know it's kind of long, it's a little complicated. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me during office hours. Um, usually a couple of people show up. So if you have questions, please feel free to reach out and ask. I am happy to help. All right, friends, good luck with the project and I'll see you all later, bye.